Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is evening prayer for Friday, October the 24th. It's the 19th week after Pentecost and week two in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 35, at Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, chapter 11, verse 2 to 20. And please join me in singing verse 5 of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts to the tune of Old 100. We'll crowd your gates with thankful songs High as the heavens our voices raise And earth with her ten thousand tons Shall fill your courts with sounding praise. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, plead my cause, O God Most High, with them that strive against me. <clears throat> Alleluia, Psalm 35. Please recite together with me. Alleluia, plead my cause, O God Most High, with them that strive against me. Fight them that fight me. Take hold of shield and buckler, and stand up and help me. Draw the spear and stop them that persecute me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek my life. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that plot my harm. Let them be like chaff before the wind, and let your angel chase them. Let their path be dark and slippery, and let your angel persecute them. For without cause they have hid their net in a pit, to take me alive. Let destruction surprise them, and let them be caught in the net that they have hid. Into that very pit let them fall. <clears throat> My soul shall be joyful in you, and rejoice in your salvation. My whole being shall say, My God, who is like you, who delivers the poor from the oppressor and the needy from those that rob them. False witnesses rise up. They charge me unjustly. They reward me evil for good, and my soul is in despair. But when they were sick, <clears throat> I dressed in sackcloth. I humbled myself with fasting, and I prayed with my whole heart as if they had been my friends or brothers. I bowed down and grieved as one that mourns for his mother. But they rejoiced when I stumbled and gathered themselves together. They gathered themselves against me. They surprised me and they tore me to pieces and would not stop. They mocked me and put me to the test. They gnashed me with their teeth. O oh God, how long will you look on? Rescue me from their destructions. Save my life from these lions. I will give you thanks in the great congregation. I will praise you among the peoples. Let not my lying enemies rejoice over me. And do not let them that hate me without cause wink at each other. For they do not wish for peace, but they devise plots against the peaceful in the land. They opened their mouths wide against me and said, Aha, with our own eyes we have seen it. You saw it, O God. Keep not your silence and be not far from me. Arise and awake to my cause. Come to my defense, my God most high. Vindicate me, my God, according to your righteousness, and do not let them rejoice over me. Do not let them say in their hearts, Ah, just as we would have it, we have swallowed him up. Let them that rejoice at my hurt be ashamed and confused. Let them that boast against me 
be clothed in shame and dishonor. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. <clears throat> Let them ever say how great you are, who takes pleasure in my prosperity. And my tongue shall speak of your righteousness and sing your praise all the day long. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, plead my cause, O God most high, with them that strive against me. Alleluia. Here is a lesson from the prophet Jesus ben Sirach, chapter 11, beginning at verse 2. Now do not praise individuals for their good looks, or loathe anyone because of appearance alone. The bee is small among flying creatures, but what it produces is the best of sweet things. Do not boast about wearing fine clothes, and do not exalt yourself when you are honored. For the works of the Most High are wonderful, and God's works are concealed from humankind. Many kings and rulers have had to sit on the ground, but one who was never thought of has worn a crown. Many rulers have been utterly disgraced, and the honored have been handed over to others. Do not find fault before you investigate. Examine first, and then criticize. Do not answer before you listen, and do not interrupt when another is speaking. Do not argue about a matter that does not concern you, and do not sit with sinners when they judge a case. My child, do not busy yourself with many matters. If you multiply activities, you will not be held blameless. If you pursue, you will not overtake, and by fleeing, you will not escape. There are those who work and struggle in hurry, but are so much the more in want there are others who are slow and need help, who lack strength and abound in poverty, but the eyes of the Most High look kindly upon them. God lifts them out of their lowly condition, raises up their heads to the amazement of many. Good things and bad, life and death, poverty and wealth come from the Most High. And the Most High's gift remains with the devout, and God's favor brings lasting success. One becomes rich through diligence and self-denial, and the reward allotted to him is this. When he says, I have found rest, and now I shall feast on my goods, he does not know how long it will be until he leaves them to others and dies. Stand by your agreement and attend to it and grow old in your work. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions, and please respond, hear us, tender God. For those who are strangers and travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ, and for those who are alone, we pray. Hear us, tender God for the sick, that they may be protected and find courage and hope in your mercy. We pray. Hear us, tender God. For prisoners and captives, especially Robert, for the persecuted and for refugees, that they may be judged in righteousness and find freedom in your truth, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For all who died, especially Carol, Howard, Dwight, George, Brother Robert Patrick, Father Tom, and Sister Miriam Suzanne. That they, that together with Francis and Claire and all your saints, they may have a place in your eternal kingdom, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the mercy of God community and for the sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, we pray. Hear us, tender God. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment, we pray. Hear us, tender God. 
for the intentions of all who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. We pray, hear us, tender God, together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh, saving God, we rejoice at your mighty help, and may we live our lives in your joy, and may our mouths ever praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs>